Hey, it's Carmen from The Curious Chicks. If you're ever planning to go to Boston and you want to get a unique Boston, New England experience, then you're going to want to check out a Cranberry Bog Farm. So the Cranberry tour that I went on was through Stonebridge Cranberry Farm, and that was one hour south of Boston in Acushnet. So cranberries are harvested in a very wetland, swamp-like area and the cranberries grow on these really long vines and it's really hard to see them. It almost looks like it's a field of weeds, but if you just run your fingers through them, the cranberries actually pop up and then there's thousands of them underneath all the vines. So cranberries are harvested in two different ways, either dry harvesting or wet harvesting. About 10% of cranberries are harvested through the dry harvesting process. They use a mechanical picking machine that picks up the cranberries from the, the ground. And the main benefit of the dry harvesting process is that the cranberries are less bruised. The cranberries are used for just whole cranberry sales. The other 90% of cranberries that are harvested is through wet harvesting. Uh, anything related to processed cranberries, that's where all the wet harvested cranberries go. The bogs, the areas where all the cranberries are growing in the field, it's flooded with water. And cranberries naturally inside have a pocket of air. And so the cranberries will just naturally float to the top. And then they use machines to kind of rile up all the cranberries and detach them from the vines. And they just float to the top. And then they'll corral all the cranberries together into a big bog. So those bogs. That's kind of what you're used to seeing when you see all those ocean spray commercials where they're wearing the waders and they have their little um, picks. That's what I got to see and that I got to go into and play and move the cranberries around and take a whole bunch of pictures and that was just a lot of fun to learn about cranberries and the process of how they're harvested. So if you're interested in learning about that and taking a tour, then you're going to have to book those online earlier rather than later because those tours book up pretty quickly and they usually happen between mid-September to mid-November because that's when cranberries are harvested. New England is a great place to see a cranberry bog because there's so many different farms. But the problem is that a lot of cranberry farms are very south of Boston, so you're going to have to drive out there at least an hour. And there's no great way to get there through public transportation, so you're going to have to rent a car to get there. Cranberry bog tours usually last between 30 minutes and an hour, could be even longer. It just depends on what's entailed in the actual tour. But you want to make sure that you get one where you get to put on the waders and go out into the bogs and take a lot of selfie pictures, because some of the tours actually don't offer that. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment, and follow us on Instagram at Curious Chicks Travel.